appreciate it, dude. What? Just putting the chair in the way I can sit. <laughs> <laughs> are we wrong? Like I said, yeah. Oh, I want to make. Uh, yeah. What What do you say about the coat? Sponsored by Coke. Oh, right, tell the boys and girls what's been happening then. <laughs> Just want to say, I haven't planned anything today. We haven't planned. So this this is all coming off the dome for oh, those yeah. who think it's written. Um, what's been happening then? Loads of tell stuff the about. boys and girls what you've been doing today. <laughs> I love this new aggressive <laughs> approach. <laughs> what have I been doing today? I went for um coffee on a bench you know coffee on a bench how much did you pay for that coffee 50p um this is useless to people watching now yeah, but costa be- were doing go, a, oh we missed out on a fantastic costa deal. app we're doing a deal uh yesterday today the day of recording and tomorrow but we'll be the day before you listen to this. 13th 14th and 15th yeah they were doing uh you have their app you, you can buy any i suppose you can just turn that off that stream but um <laughs> i'll wait it's it a little out, bit cheeky that one isn't it <laughs> it's it was a little bit really. cheeky just because you've had a power nap <laughs> um they're doing a scheme where you get a, f- a coffee for 50p any like any drink you, i got a large latte you're so excited about this i don't know what's going on i've never seen you like this it's good i like it i think it would be good for the show as well it's new I energy i like it um i feel a bit He's, t- he's taking, taking it back. back. He's just taking it back. I've caught him off guard. But yeah. Uh, it's definitely a positive, I think, because, the you know, the more energy, the better, I think. Yeah. To an extent. To Obviously, an extent. If we, we don't want to be main maniacs, but... No, 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 um, no. Yeah. Well, I actually got two coffees from Costa, and it... Guess what it cost in total? Quid. Quid. I had one in town, and then I went to King's Heath to meet my friend Mary Flanagan. She's Irish. I had a little yeah. talk about our mental health and that, because I just needed a little bit of... Um, little bit of a boost we all have our dips just uh, definitely on the upswing anyway but i wanted to you know i went in her garden which is legal oh. um had a bacon bat from costa that's how they get you with these 50p yeah deals. you're in there you're spending a bacon like, bat and that's setting you back four quid well you're like i've got the coffee for 50p so i might as well get you might as well uh, uh, yeah it's actually co- it's more, more expensive not to. to not get a bacon bat with it now <laughs> Well, the second, actually, I got a coffee in the morning. The second, I got a ruby hot chocolate. Have you ever had one? What on earth is that? <laughs> I don't know what this energy is. <laughs> okay. But the ruby hot chocolate was a nice. Stay kind of... perfectly still. <laughs> I know you're going to zoom that <laughs> on, the, on the podcast. That'll be a short. That'll go wild. YouTube hashtag shorts. Make them follow us on hashtag I shorts. I want over a thousand plays on this on Reels. Make it happen. Yeah. Guy Lane, if you're watching. Guy Lane likes all our stuff. <laughs> um, make yourself, pop yourself over from Instagram Reels to the YouTube and click that subscribe button there, if possible. Um, because to be honest, um, it's kind of an insult if you're just liking the Reels and not going to the uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, full yeah. episode. Um. So, okay, right. Do you think we... you? Are... It's a simple message, and it comes from the heart. Do you find it easy Believe to get in yourself. Work, uh, get... And that's the place to start. Do you hey, find it... DW. Okay. Do you find it easy to work and play and get along with each other? And what was it on Believe in Yourself? That's the place to start. Hey. Do you find that stuff easy? Easy I need to... to... Work on it, man. Just I have like that binky. kind of... Have that kind of chilled back, chilled back. <laughs> that as a phrase. Have that kind of chilled back attitude of just being yeah. like that chilled laid out attitude. <laughs> laid out attitude of just being like life is just life's just play, man. It's just yeah. Life's don't just take play. it so seriously. But I do, I do take it too seriously. All play, no work for me. No. What? <laughs> All play, no. All play, no business. Do you take? Certainly not today. But do you ever find that you take life too seriously? Um, yes, I've been known to. I have been well, known I to. I feel like I'm going to have to We're going to have to flip this from talking about my day to you because I've got to know what's going on. I don't what's know happening? what's happening. You've been drunk or something. No, maybe someone spiked me. I think it's my little nap. I, I had a little it's nap, nap in Eric's bed, uh, bed before this. What's happened? What was I in Eric's bed, I hear you ask? What was I in your bed? You just came in because I was 
Shoe really train, and you just came and see what I was doing after I'd finished that. And then you sometimes you'll often come in after work and just lie on my bed next to me. Yeah. Which but, isn't, you know, I'm not that against it, but... He hates it. Well, I'll do the same to you sometimes. You're but... going to read me a bedtime story as well tonight, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Um, have you prepared one? Um, maybe I should have prepared some. At... <laughs> We're crumbling at the seams. No, I've got That's sw- okay. Yeah. It's a weird man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm already going to like, I don't know. I'll be go- oh, I will be going that, straight to sleep after this. So, what? You've sort of, you've kind of feel like you've took it yourself out again. Then you came yeah, in too I strong came in too start. hard. Yeah. It's kind of nice. I thought it'd be over there. in the first couple of rounds. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was going to get a yeah. clean knockout early on. Yeah, I don't think you really latched onto anything of any substance. No. No, 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 no. no. Yeah. <laughs> I hope some of the energetic bits make it into the edit, but I don't know what possibly could. Well, we've got a, we've got a very quick turnaround on this. That's, um, yeah. you know, tomorrow... I've got to edit this tomorrow for it to come out on Friday yeah. and I've got a very busy day tomorrow. Can we talk about that? I'm presuming not. We can talk about it. We can talk about it. Yeah, we just can't can't use names. Mine not even. <laughs> <laughs> He's back! He's back, <laughs> baby! Frank, baby. <laughs> Motherfucking got his zing back! <laughs> Legitimately so like I know what I can hear from other flats when they make a bit of noise. I love it. These there's, guys, I love it. There's no way people Dirty didn't... Dirty little dogs and they're living here. There's no way people didn't very clearly hear you say... I've got my zing back. I've got my zing back, baby. <laughs> and like, what that was, I think we're up to? I know, yeah. Because <laughs> you, you know how like, when we moved in, our landlord thought we were a gay couple? Yeah. Do you think the neighbours might think that? And like, I think I've just come in your ass. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got my zing bag, baby. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Fair play to it, that's what we think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let him think it. You used to say it isn't happening. That's a real. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that's maybe a bit graphic for reals. Oh. Yeah, that's a, that's a Pornhub shorts. <laughs> I'm in Pornhub do do shorts. <laughs> just like with the same kind of fast cuts as like TikTok videos, but just come on the face <laughs> or in the ass. And <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh. Oh, fantastic! <laughs> fantastic! Well, like, can we talk about what happened on on Tuesday? Yeah. So Tuesday was. For me, in my day, that's yes, the day sir. I got my hair, my hair cut. I think a flake of dandruff just came down as I uh, <laughs> lifted my cap. So, uh, I don't know if you want to kind of... Oh, oh yeah, I'll cut it out in post. Slow we'll motion. Get a, we'll get a clean plate after, so it's not there. <laughs> there we go. I used to suffer with dandruff so bad, man, at school. I think I used really to have quite I don't bad know if we've well. talked about this on the podcast before. Probably have, but like... Yeah, I just, just happens. Get, I just couldn't get rid of it though. Okay, was yours uh, was yours a thing where it'd be like visible, or would it be just a thing where like you'd rub your hair and it would come off? Because I Both. would have that where I'd rub my hair. I probably still have it now. Both actually, okay. there was a it was a time when I was must have just been hormonal, like thirteen, twelve, thirteen. I mean, in year eight, and like I'd get like proper, yeah, just proper thick flakes of it in my hair. Yeah, I reckon that's the worst one for a kid. Yeah. Because it looks like there's no hiding that. You know yeah. what I mean? To be honest, I didn't, or maybe I just wasn't as aware of it. I probably didn't get bullied as much as I should have done. No, no. <laughs> or, like, I think people would comment it sometimes, but like, not in that, not in a nice way, but not in like a, you're a fucking loser yeah. kind of way. To be fair, who's going to comment it in a nice way? No, no that's what I'm saying, but like. <laughs> oh, they're lovely flakes, yeah. Like, <laughs> it's a bit of a weird thing to compliment you on. <laughs> yeah. But I was, it's good that I people don't bully you about it. Though. Maybe you went to a nice school. Maybe. I don't know if anyone's got a dandruff fetish. I reckon, but I reckon there's a fetish for everything, man. Yeah. It creeps me out. What, that there's a fetish for everything? Yeah, loads of fetishes creep me out. What, like what? Foot. Singing about all over the place. Foot fetishes a bit. Yeah, I don't like that. I don't, I don't, I, I don't get it. 
Yeah. You know what? I, I feel, would have I would have hands instead of my feet if I, I could. I feel like I want to have that fetish and I don't. Why? I feel like I want to have it because don't just repeat fucking... it and expect me to understand what you mean. Yeah, but I was I was starting and then man was because, about to explain. But because I'm <laughs> yeah, you cut me off at because because <laughs> 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 it would have been weird to start. Well, maybe it wouldn't. It felt unnatural in that moment to start with because, so I repeated the bit before. Just explain yourself. I feel like I want to have it because... Don't repeat it again. Man keeps saying the same thing, because you know. it just looks wicked to just be like sucking on a foot or something. If you liked it, if you did like it. I'm yeah. saying if you did like it. Yeah, but it's not true of anything. Yeah, well, yeah, it'd okay, be it'd wicked be, if wouldn't you Wouldn't it be wicked it. to shove that San Miguel bottle up your ass if you liked that? Okay, then... Don't you wish you had the fetish then? You, no, because I could just say then you'd it have would more be options. wicked to do the things that I like to do. Yeah, but you have more options if you had that. What, like sucking on a foot? Yeah. No, I don't think I'd. You could be... I don't think I'd like that, even if I liked it. <laughs> <laughs> no, because then also you can combine that. Like you could be sucking on a foot while fucking, you know, railing the shit out of the love of your life. Do you know what I mean? You'd be going in. You could be. Whose foot am I sucking on? Hers, like you could be lifting. Well, okay, I've got like legs up, you can and I've got a foot like in my mouth. Dennis, yeah, she's laid got, back, legs akimbo. Yeah, she's laid back. You've got a foot in my yeah, mouth. Yeah, and you're going in and out. How many toes has she got in there? Um, how many toes? Wait, sorry, how many toes? How many she toes has she got in my mouth? All five. Um, yeah, because you uh, like that. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I feel like how bad my dandruff was at one point like I feel like I should have had to have stayed home maybe people realised you were sensitive about it maybe but I don't think so because I don't think kids are as like yeah like, but, but uh, that like, wouldn't oh, have been a, a reason not to target you would yeah, it yeah that's the opposite they want to be like yeah, you no know what goes, that's a touchy it's subject a, yeah. you know what he is overweight that's yeah. a touchy <laughs> room <laughs> let's not mention it let's not call him fatty for five years you channeling your own demons. No, just, <laughs> just an example. Uh, um, um, I was a bit chubby as a kid. At, yeah, that coincided with me being a bit chubby, actually. Yeah. I had it all <laughs> fucking get wrong. Maybe it was a bounty in your head. <laughs> <laughs> Take half a pint. <laughs> oh, I remember that kid that ate his hair at uni, man. <laughs> <laughs> What does that mean to the boys and girls listening? <laughs> well, it's you know it's pretty self-explanatory. There was a kid at our yeah, uni that would eat his hair, his own hair, and maths. Yeah, he would. He just sit there. He'd, he was he'd... a very kind of isolated figure as well. Like yes. I didn't really ever see him with friends that much. He'd, he'd be just, no. but he'd always be in the <laughs> maths undergraduate office. It is difficult to make friends normal. when. Your main Isn't hobby it? is eating your own hair. <laughs> it's a common room is what I mean, not office. And he would... <laughs> He's one of the professors. <laughs> he would be in the uh, undergraduate common room in maths. And like... what? <laughs> He'd pull out a back lunch. <laughs> out of his hair. I don't know what that is. It is a thing that... I don't know if it's an anxiety thing. I, I, know for some I, I people get it is. pulling it out as an anxiety thing. With him, it's it been, actually seemed it's... like he was hungry <laughs> Like, uh, I, uh, How have we never talked about uh, the kid who would pull his own hair out and eat it? Because I think I've heard, I've heard of a... I think I know a couple. I don't know if you know the one I'm thinking of. There's someone else. I've heard an, another example of someone who does it for anxiety. But anyway, this kid ate his hair. Yeah, this kid <laughs> right, ate yeah, his hair. Right, yeah, so I was saying I think it's cut out for, for to protect identities. But I know another example, and I've heard of this problem in terms of anxiety for eating your own hair. Well, this kid, did, like I said, he looked like he was starving. Not, well, he didn't look like he was starving. Not that one. I don't want to fight shame. But he looked like he was proper, like... <laughs> Let's just say, he must have had a, l- <laughs> a luscious mane before. Who <laughs> knew hair was so calorific? <laughs> he always goes to the gym in January and he's like, I've got to burn this hair off, man. I've eaten. <laughs> Fucking eating so many follicles over the winter break. <laughs> um, why did I start? I had a point to make over that. I don't think you did. <laughs> what, did. Have I made this up in my head or did he read the news for Raw? 
<laughs> I don't, that sounds I don't, I don't think so, but I don't know for uh, sure, sure what he, he did. And, and he did. That's really funny. I don't know why that's oh, really yeah. funny. But <laughs> no, I might have to make not. a phone call. What's the matter? Yeah, because he might know. I don't know if he want to be on the podcast. We'll have to cut it out if he's not. Oh, he might not answer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, we'll see, we'll see, man. And uh, you know, I wish he could have answered on because it's a yeah, it's, I, a, I, bur- it's a burning question, but yeah. it'll keep him hooked. I'm sure. I'm, I think he was involved with something like that. I just, I mean, I don't. He I never seem like the type to guy, be. I, I know it's mental, but I can't imagine him being sociable enough to go to into read raw. The news on raw. Yeah, no, me neither. Not that, it, and that's saying something because you weren't didn't have to be particularly. And um, raw. Oh, I know you hate me giving context, but raw yeah, is no, the student. Him. The student radio uh, at Warwick, the student radio station. Yeah. Uh, which we used to be on. That's kind of the, that was the uh, first, our first foray into first, uh, what was essentially broadcasting, really. Yeah. Um, obviously, it was live on air, but no one was listening to it on air or recorded, no, really. very rarely, very rarely. But, um, you know what, actually, that was kind of good when it was live. Yeah, I and, quite liked it. It had its charm, didn't it? Yeah. We had to get in for a certain time. We get in for a certain time, and like there were our friends that would like tune in live. You're right when you might. It was kind of just fiddling. Don't worry about. Um. Yeah, I don't know what my end point is with this man. Is there? But like, what's he doing now? I don't think he was even that good at maths. Was he not? I don't, See, I don't know. I never spoke to him or like, I saw his work, but I yeah. always assumed he was good at maths. He would always ask questions, wouldn't he? Yeah, I feel like maybe. I always seems to speak to the lecturers at the end. Do you remember, fact, like, that one of the introductory courses we did was foundations of maths or whatever? Yeah. And then you'd have those tests. I feel like you do. You took the tests in the lecture hall, I think, in that. And then, yes, I think I just have a memory of talk, him talking to me after it. Like we must have been sat next to each other, and just what he was saying seemed like complete nonsense. <laughs> and right. I'm normal. I I got loads of things wrong in uni maths. It's really hard and stuff. But like, I think I expected him to be smarter. Yeah, good lad. Or oh, eats his own hair though. What do you reckon um, he's doing now? He's a barber. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they donate that? Because what do they do with all the hair? They just sometimes, sometimes they donate it for wigs and stuff. Hair, yeah, for wigs. If I think you have to have like quite long hair for that. Um, but like barber shops, like they they legitimately could donate it to people that like to eat their hair. Is it bad to eat your? I know it's bad, like in terms of. Yeah, it can't be good for like. Is it bad for like, your body though to consume it? I reckon like be like can't your be stomach. Good for your digestive yeah, system. for like your digestive and your intestines and that. It must get caught. Does it digest it, or does it, do, like? Do you reckon he just shits out hair, full hair? <laughs> like, really, hair. I he but like in just... between, like food, and so just like a. Yeah, I reckon like, it gets of, like knotted in. Like a, a, oh, like a mothball kind of. What's yeah, the word? That's yeah. what I reckon. Oh, and he was losing his hair. I, th- as in, I know yeah. he was eating it, but he looked like he was probably balding as well. Yeah, so which that's really sad. That's tough. That is, we don't. It's going to be a day when he reaches up <laughs> and there's nothing left. Well, we don't. You know, we. I think in our site we've got a lot of sympathy for kind of. Um, well, no, just like people who face oppression, people who are like you know from certain marginalised groups, but we don't, I don't think know about where this is good. <laughs> no, I'm just saying we don't think enough about like people who love to eat their own hair uh, and, and, they're they're, going and they're going bald at the same time. <laughs> The one day the, right, we don't, the we biggest don't. love will be over. Like that is a shame. Like oh, that is really bad. Yeah. I suppose Drekken he'll maybe he does it anyway. Maybe Drekken, he moves like his ass. Well, stuff. I was thinking just pu- just pubes. <laughs> it? I don't know why I have to go to ass head. <laughs> oh yeah, what's him? What's he doing with his life? Because I think he might not even be that good at maths. So yeah. if you, you know, you gotta hire someone. They're not amazing. They're all they're good at maths. They're not amazed at it. Yeah, halfway through the interview, and he starts eating his hair. <laughs> Have you got any questions? How long is my lunch break? <laughs> oh no! Oh, God bless him. Just <laughs> looking at other people's heads. Like you're gonna finish that. <laughs> 
Oh. I'll never get the answers to this now because I, I wasn't like I didn't have a strong enough social network with people who did maths at Warwick I but think I'd we lo- should hire a private investigator I, wanna, I just want to know what he's doing now <laughs> do you, uh, maybe I know a couple of people who do maths, maths who I did maths. you could maybe find could out know. if you really dug deep but it'd be a, I don't know how you how you ask that question yeah. But without well, it just being, I want to know what the guy who ate his hair is doing. But now. everyone would know who that was because I, I didn't know his name. Well, kind of put a. Yeah, it's okay to talk put, about Tuesday, though. Put, <laughs> put, put a pin in that uh, hair thing. Yeah, we'll come back uh, to it next uh, week, <laughs> I'm sure. <sighs> I would love to get him on. I'm fucking scratching. I almost fucking doing what he's doing, scratching my head, trying to. I'd love to have him on the show, man. Do you reckon, like, I think if we ever get him on now the show, now everyone's getting a haircut. He is just fucking salivating, thinking about all that hair <laughs> he's dropping he's around. Like looking... Pavlov dog. <laughs> <laughs> he's just he has thinking those about that and fucking he starts having... <laughs> hair dropping around the country. <laughs> oh man! Oh, big up that guy. Right, you had a date on Tuesday. I wanted yeah. to ease into it a bit more, but I've got we've got to get there. Get there. Are we going to keep talking uh, about the kiddie weeds? Well, hair I know boys? the majority of what stays in this episode is going to be that because oh yeah, it's going to be called something like the kid. It's probably just going to be called the kiddie weed his own hair. Yeah, it, you uh, can't not watch. Yeah. You see that if you stumble across <laughs> that on YouTube, you got to go watch that about. It's a classic. Um, right, you met a girl. Yeah, <laughs> oh, I can't give this because. Um, right, what happened? You went for a... <laughs> He's panicking. I'm He's really, floundering I'm so really, hard right I'm now. I really lost it. And I know it's not entertaining to... Um, I just... I don't know what's happened. I've gone like how you were at the start of the episode. I know, right? you got... I just lost my We're focus. going rabid. <laughs> gone rabid. We're going rabid. Well, I'm on the beer as well. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really... <laughs> that was like a cartoon <laughs> swig. <laughs> Yeah, and we also played poo sticks, and I won at that. So it was what's two poo wins. sticks? Poo sticks is um, when you're at some form of river or stream, yeah, and there's a bridge. Um, you you pick a stick, you pick your warrior, hmm. you stand on one side, you drop it, and whoever comes out the other side first wins. Oh, well, like you go. Uh, I yeah, like, just this like is a bit flirt. This is a bit like that. That's a bit flirty. <laughs> That's a bit. You've got another one. Tomorrow. Booked in tomorrow. You were. Um, I, I don't think I've got any further questions because we'll, we'll wait for updates on that. Yeah, well, k- k- tune in next week. To... Uh, yeah. Will you update us even if it goes badly? Not that it will. No, just... Oh, well, we're just a, a foul a foul mood, <laughs> yeah. I imagine. Yeah, so, so we if don't I'm talk... in a foul mood next week. And we don't talk about it next week. Um, yeah. Unfortunately. If I ain't got my zing. Unfortunately, Joe. Um... And I suppose actually, devastating. Uh, would you be again. so if she does watch? Would you be more worried at her seeing that you talked about her, or her seeing that you fucking said you'd zing up my ass or whatever you said? <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I don't think I'd be that worried about uh, that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to to hearing about it, and um, I'm looking forward to seeing you all again. Yeah, I mean, week. I'll probably tell you in real life tomorrow. Oh yeah, but, but we want to give the illusion of the podcast that I mean okay. we did have sort of that we didn't fake a conversation there. No, I mean you did tell me about the date before, but yeah. I didn't pretend that you didn't in that conversation. No, um, but if it is more interesting, let us know. Do you want us to uh, fake a fake a convo? That's not on there. Um, we could act like we're strangers next week. Yeah. All right. Um, do you have any final words? You came. You came up. Uh, I came. I saw. Yeah. I conquered. Yeah. I was trying to think of something to do with conquers. Uh, why? Just because I thought that would have been fun. I thought you were going to try like a callback about the hair. I came, oh, I saw, oh. I, I don't know. I, I ate, ate my, my own hair. hair. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't be eating yet. I know a lot of you can't help it and it's hard to struggle. A lot of you can't. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, I struggle with my own things. I really need to... 
overcome and sort out and that. Oh, come on. And, and you know, <laughs> come on. failures with myself. But you take it to piss, lad. At least I don't eat my own at hair. At least I don't eat his own hair. All right. You'll always have that. See you next week. Bye.